Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Thomas Warden. This is the Morning Motivation with the worldwide community of the online entrepreneurs across the world and people that are needing information to shift their life and their entire journeys into a whole new direction. You know, every day we get in here and we pump inspiration and we pump good words and knowledge to each and every one of us from each and every one of us. All of us have something to bring to the table on a day-to-day -day basis to make this portal even better. That way you can get your positive energy up, your direction of focus in a, a better state. You know, so today, you know, or yesterday, I spent uh, quite a bit of hours on, uh, at a conference. Um, it was an online conference, but it was something that I needed uh, for sure to be able to hear the words, to know that we are moving forward with something bigger on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, and he had a few key points that I wanted to top out here this morning. And it's going to go for a lot of us because we're all entrepreneurs and moving ourselves in a whole different direction of life. Um, whether you're in the health and wellness, whether you're in the online, whether you're doing it door to door, whether you have a brick and mortar business, it does not matter. This will apply in every all directions that you utilize it in. And the number one part is the seriousness. Life is serious. We are serious. The business is serious. When you get out there and you're working and you're doing your um, videos, you're in serious mode because you're trying to get something accomplished and taken care of. When you're sitting down writing your story ads, that's a serious mode. That is a time to dig deep within you to make sure that you have written that story that is giving from where you was at to how you have changed to where you're sitting at now. So make sure that you dig deep into yourself and not just, oh, well, here, let me write something. They want me to write something. No. Make it touch people's hearts, okay? So that is a serious note right there. Every day's task, when you get up, we say thank you and I love you in that mirror to ourselves for everything that we have in this life. That is a serious note. That is not a time to be, you know, well, universe, well, okay, thank you for another day. You know, they tell me to say thank you for the blankets every morning. They say thank you for the food. Are you truly being serious about it? Are you letting the universe truly know that you are thankful for that? Because if they don't know that you're serious, then how are they going to bring the abundance to you? So make sure you're serious with everything that you're moving forward with, within your business, within your time that you put to your business. You know, if you allot an hour to be in here and do some training, allot that hour of that serious moment. Okay. So number two is smart. Be smart about you, your personal experiences in life, the books that you're reading, the training that you're going through the uh, conferences that you go to, the um, whatever you do that's making you more knowledgeable, that is putting the smarts back into you, right? Many will say I've been uh, to the trainings and I've read the books and you know I, I know what I'm doing. Now, nah, there's a good phrase that I heard yesterday. Just because you read it, been to it, does not mean that you got it, okay? I have had to read books a couple of times before you actually get it. And each time you read it, read it, you will get something else out of it. Each time you go to a conference and you've heard that same speech from somebody, each time that you listen to that speech, then it'll be the same, uh, you know, you're going to grasp different information each time that you heard that speech because your mind is going to hear a couple words and that's what you're going to start focusing on is those words and you didn't hear the rest of the story. Now, like Julio says all the time, we have two ears for a reason. We need to listen more when somebody is speaking out in front of us. And then that way you can grasp the information, all of it, not just that first little section that, you, oh, I like that. Oh, I need to think about it. I need to put that in my stuff. What did you hear the rest of what was said in the, in the conversation? And there was a whole lot more that you could have implemented as well. So make sure that you read it. Read it a couple times. Watch it. Watch it a couple times, you know. If you have a conversation with somebody and you didn't get all of it, go back and ask some more questions because there is no stupid question in this world. The only stupid question is the one that was not asked. Okay. So move ourselves each day to know that if you do not know, ask the question to somebody who does or they can get the information or do some more research, whatever you have to do on that part. Number three is get going, take action. You know, every day we get out here and we're planting seeds every day those seeds of knowledge to somebody that didn't have that seed before. And each time you plant that seed somewhere else, guess what? When you water, you nourish it, what happens to it? It starts to grow. So same thing with my son as we're, you know, when they were growing up, 
I would give them nourishing words, nourishing stuff to encourage them, to inspire them, to let them know that they are awesome, you know, creators and that they can do. So what was I doing? I was nourishing them the whole time that they were growing up. Same thing with your children. You're nourishing them. Same thing with the people that we're around on a day to day basis. There is many people. We all have been growing up in different lifestyles, situations and everything else. So you may have a coworker that has never been to a place where you have been or experienced some of the things that you have been because they're, you know, wasn't able to in their life. You know, their families didn't do the vacations. Their family didn't do the togetherness. They may have been a split family and you know, whatever. So it's, you're learning and nourishing everybody you're around. So we're coming here in the morning. We're nourishing each other. We're inspiring each other to get going and making sure that, you know, you are flourishing in everything that you want to do. So, do what you can, you know, because my financial means to be able to do advertising may be different from somebody else's, but all I'm going to do is tell you, do what you can. Nobody can work on my level because I don't want anybody to be me. I don't want anybody to be Julio. I don't want anybody to be Ryan. I want Ryan to be Ryan, Julio to be Julio, and I'm going to be me and I'm going to do the things that I can. Yes, I might have a nice pretty truck outside. And you, you, Oh man, I wish I had his truck. If you want it, take action and go get it, you know, because that's the way that you can have the same vehicle that I have, you know, or the, you like that nice house that he has. Well, if you like that nice house, then you take action within your life and you do the things that you need to do to get yourself in the monetary funds or in that correct alignment to go get that house. Because all I did was put myself in that correct alignment to get the things that I want. So you get yourself in that alignment, get the things that you want. Um, do not neglect the small things. Okay. There are small things in the world that you'll have to take care of on a day to day basis. And there are bigger things that in the world that you will have to take care of every day. The small things have to be taken care of as well. Do you get up and brush your hair and brush your teeth? That's small things. But yes, if you don't do it, does your breath stink? Does your hair look like JJ's? No, I'm just joking with you, brother. But you know, that's what I'm talking about. You know, if you don't get up and maintain you, then how can you expect the world to maintain you as well? You know, because you don't respect you, they're not going to respect you because you're not giving it out. That type of deal. Number four, you're going to get better. You're going to ask that you can handle better and then of the seasons of your life. You know, every day we're getting better with everything that we're doing. We say that all the time, making ourselves the better version of us, better than we was yesterday. Getting some more knowledge today that I didn't have yesterday. Speaking to more people today to get my bucket fuller than, than yesterday, whatever. You know, let's say I wasn't able to speak to enough people to fill up my bucket to get my numbers right where I want them at the end of the month. Well, today I have to work a little bit extra. So if you have to do that, do it because nobody else is going to do it for you. You are the entrepreneur within your business. So keep moving forward with everything in life, guys. Um, and number five, it's called muscles. That's a muscle. These are muscles. Always keep entertaining those muscles. Keep working out those muscles, reading those books. That's a muscle. Listening to those YouTube trainings. That's a muscle that you're creating up here and making better. Then every time that you go pick up that book, ah, guess what? I just made that better. Uh huh. I don't, you know, the book ain't that heavy, but Julio goes to the gym, right? So what is he doing? He's making his body better. So same thing with any of y'all. If you're going through a dietary plan, you're making yourself better. So anything that you do in life, we are making us a better creation, a better version. And then you have to take care of that every day because I can't go over there and, you know, grab you and say, Hey, Leo, you got to go to the gym today. Come on, brother. We got to go. You know, I can't do that. Ricky, you're crazy as hell. But, uh, anyway, that is not sexy and that's not pretty at all. I promise you, you know, and, uh, don't quit your day job because I promise you, you won't make it at the, uh, the strip club either. Wow. Guys, it, it is an awesome day. We're having fun here this morning. And uh, every day I ask everybody to bring something to the table. If you have some energy within you from this week, from yesterday, whatever, or from this morning. But I just want to know everybody, or y'all, to all know. You're powerful. You can do it. Nothing can will stop you because you have the dedication and the focus that you want to it. You're going to utilize those muscles. You're going to make them stronger every day. And then you're going to be out there and inspire others on a day-to-day -day basis by the energy that you bring out. This is a fun day. All right. Hands up.
anybody want to chat because I'm, I'm done this morning and I'm just going to open it up to the table on the platform here. And that way y'all can share the messages and the energy that y'all have to bring back to the table today. Hands up anybody or just step out. Go ahead, Julio. Julio's going to take it. I'm telling y'all, y'all going to have some energy. Go ahead, Ricky. I just wanted to welcome, uh, I see uh, one day invites uh, invited today was uh, Miss Tammy. Um, uh, you know, I talked to her for a while uh, yesterday and, you know, I talked to her right and right after I got off the phone with her, then all of a sudden, oh, we all went live on the same type of message that I was just sharing with her, which relates to what we're doing every morning, our self-development, our motivation, our inspiration that we get from each other being ourselves are actually bringing out our true insult, uh, ourselves out, you know, that we don't even, um, you know, live on a daily basis. We're just programmed and think it, you know, we're just more motivated and we're bringing the original selves out. Just like um, I was having a bad hair day a while ago. So, you know, I didn't want uh, JJ to get all the attention. So I just went and got my daughter's Halloween costume, which is, you know, kind of ragged, but oh well, it's all about fun and a smile, you know. Whatever we can do about putting a, a smile on somebody's face, hey, let's brighten it up, baby. But anyway, I love to see each and every one of y'all. Hopefully, uh, a couple more people will show up here in a minute. But um, that's all I really got. I love y'all. Oh, I like that, Jen. Jen's asking, is chocolate part of uh, a diet plan? Well, it's a special diet, but yeah, it can be. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ricky, for stepping out there. And, uh, you know, so I finally got to catch up on the chats there. And Justin is, uh, is at work with us today, so that's why he's not stepping in. So thank you for joining in with us today. And Tammy as well, the new person there. Thank you for joining in with us. And, uh, you know, everybody else across the world, I appreciate y'all every day for coming in here and spending the time with us. All right. We're going to pass it off to Brother Julio. I see the mic down, brother. Don't, don't. <laughs> I'm not scared. You know I'm not scared, man. Not at all. Um, I, I didn't get to, to I went into to Starbucks and got me a cup of Joe, you know, grabbing my son something real fast. I'm I'm, I'm working this morning, dro dro dropping off. Uh, you, you already know, you know my routine, <laughs> Thomas. I'm working, <laughs> getting getting my water to, to the needed sources. Hey, hey, hey! Quiet, lovely. Sit down, have a seat, relax. Um, no, but uh. <laughs> But I, I, you know, I, I came prepared this morning, man. Um, I, I try to come prepared every morning, no matter what, guys. You know, I always want to bring something to you all. Um, you know, the, the message I got today is, is I, I want to say this is more or less out of a page of, uh, of Jen Murray's book. You know, um, get out of your own way. You know, kick your own self in the ass when it comes to, to, to life in general, you know. Um, we have a way of being controlled by fear. We have a way of being controlled by the doubt you know, in our lives, you know, and, and we allow that, those forms of resistance, and, you know, to stop us um, from, from going after the things we most want and we most desire in life. You know, um, fear, fear kind of restricts us. And, it, you know, it says, don't do anything. You're fine right here. You know, our brains always want to go into that safety mode, you know, um, you know, that, 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 that comfort zone. You know, that, that, uh, that, that I'm always talking about, <laughs> you know, that we're always referring to, you know, um, our brains always want to go back to that. You know, we want to stay in that safe place, but there's, there's nothing, you know, we, we don't gain anything. There's nothing, there's no advantage to us by being in that safe zone. There's not, there's no advantage to us by being in that comfort zone. You know, um, you, you know, I, there, there's a lot of motivational speakers that have spoken about, you know, say, oh, sure, you know, you can live for a very long time, if you go and you hide in a corner and we feed you and we clothe you and we make sure you got water and, you know, and, but you'll never do anything in life. You'll just be there in that, you know, you'll be in that comfort zone. You'll be in, in that place of, 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 of not really growing, not really maturing. Um, you know, and um, you, you won't get to where you want to go, you know, to where your heart's desire is. So fight resistance in your day to day. Be encouraged here this morning. You know, resistance is going to stop you. There, there's all types of, uh, it tries to stop you. Let's put it that way. You know, there's all kinds of different forms of resistance that we face in our day to day. You know, resistance says, don't wake up and take your butt to the gym. 
You know, resistance says, you know, it's okay. You can sleep for 20 more minutes when you know you should you should be getting up to, you know, to, to get your day started, to, to read or, or to pray or to, you know, get that honey to do, you know, honey to do, do, uh, to do list taken care of, you know, resistance says, Hey, I'm just going to sit here and watch TV, you know, instead of reading a book, instead of enhancing yourself and, and, and making you a better version of yourself, you know, so fight that resistance, you know, fight, fight that doubt in your life, you know, stand firm against fear and says, no, you know what, you know, I, I've learned to, um, to whenever I feel fear about doing something, I use it as motivation and encouragement. Whenever I get that feeling, I go, this means I should be doing it. <laughs> you know, that's my approach now. Um, outside of jumping out of an airplane, I still, I'm still i still not convinced about that one yet, Thomas. But whatever, I feel like if God wanted us to jump out of an airplane, he would have gave us wings. But that's another topic. Um, <laughs> you know, but, but I, I try to fight all forms of resistance within myself on a daily basis. And, and that's how I've gotten to be, you know, where I'm at. You know, that's how I've gotten to, to every single day strive towards being that better version of me. You know, so whatever the resistance is in your life, guys, I don't care what it is, you know, dig down deep, say, I got this, you know, I can do this. There's nothing impossible for me because I am possible and go ahead and do it guys. You know, live life to the fullest. We only get one life to live. You know, this is not the game of Mario brothers. I've said that before, you know, we don't get a do over. We don't have another life. So, you know, are you going to choose to live your life in fear this morning, or are you going to choose to live your life in the more? Are you going to choose to live your life in, in actually living and not just existing? You know, live life to the fullest, guys. Resist fear, you know, resist that doubt in your life. And I guarantee you, you'll go great places. Dig down deep within you because there's greatness inside each and every one of these. Amen. Really, uh, that was awesome. I wanted to just say something really, really quick, like, you talk about beating your brain and I've seen how consistent you've been lately. Like, and that's one thing I just wanted to give uh, both Thomas and Julio credit for. And a lot of you guys in here actually, who are doing this in the online space and to our guests, you can just see what they do online. Just go look them up. But these guys are super, super consistent. Right. And one thing like when I'm like, Oh man, I know I need to do a go live. I haven't talked to my people for a while. Like I need to go out there and spread some word. I look at Thomas, I look at Julio. Consistency is key. And Julio with his exercising, like, man, you're motivating me. And I know you're motivating a lot of other people to get our butts in the gym. I just wanted to say something really, really quick. So in talking about fear, absolutely. Push past your fear. Just do what you need to do. And the other thing, so the other day this happened, okay? And this is something that I, I wanted to talk about on uh, like a Zoom meeting or with the team, but now I just feel like it's a really good time to talk about it. So I fell on some black ice the other day, right? And I need to get a knee replacement, okay? So my knee is like, I'm 37 almost, and my knee's like a 65 year old knee, okay? So I fell, wiped out within the matter of seconds on that knee. So I'm glad it was that knee and not my good one. There I am, grateful for being it, not being my good knee, but it happened like that, right? And so, Julia, you're gonna love this, but this is my excuse for not having to go to the gym. <laughs> but, but I thought, you know what? I can take this time off and be like, hi, I can't walk to the gym, but I can still do arms, right? I can still do sit-ups, I can still do something I can't walk right now, but that's okay. Which brings me to two things, okay? Gratitude, because I didn't expect that to happen. That wasn't in my mindset at all. That wasn't something that I planned, it just happened. So I'm super grateful for when my leg does heal, the ability to walk again, right? Because that is something huge. You just don't know until it's gone. Kevin t told me, well, at least you can be grateful that you can see. I'm like, exactly, Kevin. The other thing, really, really quick, and I'll get off here, is the fact that you don't know what's going to happen in your life. Accidents can happen so fast. Things can happen so quick. What you're planning for, something else can go, and like baseball, throw you a curveball, knock you off, knock you down without even expecting it. So start planning now so that when accidents do happen, you're more prepared. Thanks, guys. I'll jump off.
Thank you, Jen. Thank you for Hold sharing. on. This, this woman always finds the positive in a negative situation. I got to give you kudos, Jen. No matter what, you know, I've looked at stuff in the past and, and, and you know, somebody will present it and we'll be on this Zoom or we'll be in a meeting or we'll be whatever. And you've always found the positive in a negative. So hats off to you, my friend, seriously, because some people don't have that mentality. Some people don't have that thinking, you know, to find it. And after they, and if they do, then it's like a week has to go by two weeks, and they literally have to sit there and reflect and reflect and reflect and reflect. And then boom, the light bulb will go off. You know, um, <laughs> that's just crazy that, you know, hey, I, I, I jacked up my knee and I fell really hard. Oh, by the way, but it's okay because I can see, I can touch, I can taste, I can, I have all these other senses and life's experiences, so I'm all right. Only Jen will find the positive and, and, and banging up her knee. <laughs> but that's what you have to. You, we all have to have that same mentality, that same attitude towards situations. Like she said, there's things that will arise, but there is good that's going to come out of it. You know, so yes, you know, her not being able to walk as much as she could, she's turned it around and still been able to utilize it. So Carol, you had something you want to say on that? Yeah, I did. I was just going to tell her there's other options as far as exercising goes. We, I picked up one of those yoga swings the other day. So it completely takes all the stress off your knees and you can do sit-ups upside down. You can, you can decompress your spine. It has all kinds of stuff you can do with it. You don't have to use your knees, but you can use all the other parts of your body. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little yoga swing. Yeah, I flipped upside down the other night and you can feel your back. Up, 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 up. Yeah, you just get some popping areas that happen and uh, just kind of straightens and realigns and gets you feeling back right. Uh, so when you step out of there for some exercise. So Carol's got all kinds of exercise machines in her gym over there. And you know, we don't, so we don't go to the gym. Of course, I never did anyway, but I need to start. Yes. I need that's going to change, Thomas. We were talking about that the other day. Thomas is going to start working on his guns, guys. He's going to start working on his on these babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Thomas is very lean. Very lean, guys, yeah. Find a piece of paper, and there you find me. Yes. Uh, see, there he is. Hey, there he is. There's Thomas. Oh, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> yes. All right, so... This is a fun day, and I, this is the kind of energy we need to have every day, guys. Everybody is bringing something to the table that is bringing a smile to your face and bringing something else up here. Hmm, you're right. I didn't think about it that way. So new perspectives are being thrown out. New words that you can give yourself can be thrown out. Patricia, you had something, baby? Yeah, I sort of, I, I don't normally get on because usually my days can be busy. But uh, so I guess mine's on a positive thing and a, a trusting thing because I spent all day yesterday making real estate um, appointments because I was supposed to show houses all day today. And I was up at four this morning doing all the paperwork. And then I did my affirmations and my magic and my, my stuff. And then when I sent off a whole bunch of papers for the person to have a look at, five minutes later, I opened up my thing and it says, oh, by the way, we're not doing it today. I'm sick. <laughs> So it was like, yay, I can have a cappuccino and I can listen to Thomas this morning. So here I am. <laughs> so it all works. You know, you just got to trust. I really didn't feel like going out in the snowstorm today. So I'm happy to be home. Well, that's a good thing, Cece. You woke up with intention of desire saying, I really don't want to be out there, but yet I'm going to give all the energy to be able to go ahead and take care of everything. The excitement that she woke up at four o'clock, got paperwork ready. You know, she knew the day. She had it planned out and scheduled, right? She knew what she was going to do. But the true heart said, I really don't want to be out in the snowstorm. So what did the universe give you? Gave you time to sit at home and come enjoy it with us. So that's awesome. See, it's different energy flows where energy goes of where we truly desire, you know, because if that's what you truly desire and you have in your heart, then that's what's going to happen. Go ahead, Miss Kim. You're muted, baby. There you go. Oh, there Good morning. you go. Morning. Um, from listen to on and you on keep say we we all have a voice. We need to say something. And I found this poem a friend of mine had given to me. Yeah, I don't know, just make a quick story. I was in West Virginia, I lived for 30 some years. 
after my husband passed away, I decided to move, just a fluid move to North Carolina. And at the party, a friend of mine gave me the poem and I found this morning, and I think it's helped me to move to my goal. And I'd like to share with you on the poem called The Oak Tree. O-A-K, Oak Tree. Here's go. A mighty wind blew night and day. It stole the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped its paws and pulled its paw until the oak was tied and stopped. But still the oak tree held its crowd while the other trees fell around. The weary wind gave up and spoke. How can you still be standing? Oh, the other tree asked. I know you can break a branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away, shake my limbs, and make my smiths way. But I have roots, stress in the earth, growing stronger than my birth. You will never touch them, for you see, they are the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't sure of just how much I could endure. But now I have found, and thanks to you, I'm stronger than I ever knew. So that found this last night, and it touched me deeply, and I thought I shared that this morning. Thank you. No, thank it's you. very powerful, so Miss Kim. Thank you. Thank you. Very powerful. Awesome words. Thank you. And that's what we're talking about, guys. Did you feel the emotion that grabbed her right there at the end of that? You know, finding that poem after this time frame and to be able to read it and know the emotions that, you know, she's going through right now. And thank you for sharing that, Miss Kim. You know, because that's what it's about, guys. The power that we have from people all over the world that has changed and shifted us. You know, the people. Um, and every day, y'all are shifting my life. Every day, the words that y'all give to us in here. You know, I thank y'all. Thank y'all very much, Miss Kim. Thank you for sharing that. Thomas, did, did you see the um, the uh, vibration thing that I posted yesterday with the video? It's uh, um, where if you haven't, then you guys just go go to, to my wall and whatnot. Um, it, it's uh, it's a guy and he has some sand. He has sand, um, or you know what looks like sand, and he throws it all over this table, and he has the violin string, and it's on a board, a board or a table, something along. So as he strokes the table the the sand separates in a specific pattern depending on which 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 uh or, you know which i guess i don't know um i don't i don't know I, 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 frequency he's you know he's going he's going ahead and he's going across it's just amazing the patterns that are formed and then he shakes it up again and he does a different one and a different pattern forms and he does it again and a different pattern forms you know we all operate off of different vibrations, but I think it's just so important for us to stay in tune to operate off of that higher vibration, that higher, you know, uh, uh, um, wavelength, you know, then, then to make sure that we're, we're not allowing ourselves to draw lower, you know, don't allow anybody to bring you down, you know, today, you know, I just saw it and it was so amazing. And when I saw it, I just thought about everything you guys have taught me, everything, everything that I've learned here, you know, enjoying this morning. We've been on here for what, six months now, Thomas? You know, so it, it, it was just powerful to visually see that, you know, and, and to something that I once didn't even believe existed, like, oh, whatever, what's this guy even talking about? You know, that the government stopped allowing us to, uh, you know, to listen to positivity and vibrations and all of this stuff, but now it all makes sense. You know, it's kind of like all the little dots, you know, that, that little dot thing that they make you do when you're a kid and then they want you to connect them and whatnot. I feel like all the dots, little by little, they're just starting to connect. Boop, 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 boop. You know, it's just an amazing thing to see visually, you know. So I, if, if you guys haven't seen it, I wanted to, to, to make sure I point that out so you can go ahead and share. Definitely, guys. We all run off of a frequency. We are a vibration every day. Your thoughts are a vibration. Your words are a frequency. Everything that you do, your tonality, it's all different. All right. This morning, I think, JJ, JJ, you'll be able to make it about two, two to three minutes with your little story. JJ. Good morning, kids. Good to see y'all here today. Good to see you kids on Facebook, on, my, on the live that's going on on my Facebook wall right now. 
I've got an interesting story I want to tell you guys about something that most of you probably know by now that I'm in the fossil business. And um, every year we go down to this fossil show and um, we have we have these little pieces and parts of fish like this right here. This is just a tail of a fish. And, uh, and, uh, we, we, we were, we put those out for people to, you know, give to kids for educational purposes and that kind of stuff. And, and for the first few years that we were down there, we'd put them out and, rarely would they sell you know maybe people would buy a couple of them here and there that kind of thing and um my sweetheart she came up with this interesting idea and uh and she she rolled with it and it and it changed everything and i think this really suits what we're doing here because it's it's a matter of of mindset and um and it's also a matter of what you say you know we always talk about the fact that you know, when you be be mindful of what you're saying and what you're putting out there, because it it does matter, right? You know, we had a little sign up that said, you know, fish parts, um, you know, fifty cents, and we'd sell a few of them and that kind of thing. And then, and then my sweetheart, I can't get this thing to to turn the right way, but I'm gonna just kind of show you what she did she created this thing it says lucky fish if i turn it sideways it turns sideways anyway i don't know why it does that but that's why i told you i'll, I'll have to straighten it up tomorrow you know <laughs> but what this thing says is it says lucky fish 50 million year old fossils stimulates vision curiosity wisdom passion activity and love for life and uh, and she put this little lucky fish sign up next to the lucky fish box and the fish just started swimming out of the joint we couldn't we ended up every year now since she did that since she came up with that little sign right there every year all of our lucky fish are gone we can't keep enough of them we can't take enough of them and uh, you know, every year since we came up with this little thing, they have just literally been swimming out of the joint. And, and my point of bringing this up to you guys was kind of a twofold thing because we've got a project that we're doing where it's a it's a 50 million year old horse that we was found back in 2015, and we have a mold of this horse where we can make casts of it, and then we can fix those casts up, and we um. We were, we've been, we've had them for sale the last couple of years at the, at the show and they haven't really sold much. And so we were last night, this is what made me think about this and wanted to bring it up to everybody as a stimulation to all of you that whatever projects you're working on, whatever things you're getting ready to put out there, think about what you're saying and, and how you can add some value like that right there. Because quite frankly, seeing something like this some little kid seeing something like this this really and truly does stimulate their brains or their abysses as i like to call them to to gain all of this stuff wisdom and curiosity and and love for for paleontology and uh so always make sure to to see what you can do to be creative to put put the right words to the things that you're doing, whether that's putting up a Facebook post or whether that's uh, something to do with your business, something that you're trying to sell, something that, you know, just like what we did with the lucky fish. But I'm, I'm curious what anybody might have to say about horses and uh, what kind of things would stimulate, stimulate curiosity and wisdom and love for horses because that's what we're looking for. We're gonna do something like this for this year's show to see if it maybe starts getting the horses to gallop out of the out of the, the hotel room this year. So I wanted to throw that out there. If any of you guys have any ideas, um, I'd appreciate you sharing them with me and and uh, we'll end up sharing with you down from, from the show because we're gonna be down there doing this from the show. And um, I'll get to show you guys what's going on in there and and what we ended up coming up with, we'll 
put your ideas in and get you guys some credit for it and all that kind of stuff. But I thought it, it was something that, that everybody would really like to hear. And I'll tell you what, it changed everything as far as those little fish were concerned, those little fish pieces and parts. They just literally, we can't keep enough of them in anymore just from that one little thing right there. So that's all I have to say for today, kids. I love you guys all. Thank you so much for being here. And, uh, you know, there's power in your, in your, um, the way you put things out there. So. Thank you, JJ. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, that is his passion. <laughs> For so many years is the fossil business and life and everything. So that is his passion and that's what he moves. And it's funny how just a simple rock is changing lives, huh? <laughs> and do we know what the rock means? I mean, it may just be a fossil that he is bringing you something. My rock don't have a fish on it, but yet it's the meanings that, you know, everybody read the magic? Hmm. Fossils, rocks. Now we're all in the same area, right? So it's fun to be able to know that he is moving lives. And like he said, moving inspiration with things like that right there, you know, because that is a passion when you see that. And like he said, that stimulates children's imagination, creativity, and a few other things that they didn't even know about. They may see it in books and read it at school because they had to. The teacher said, you need to read this chapter. And then that what they do, they go home and skin through it. They don't really pay attention to it and they go on about their day. And then they do just enough to pass the test. But some kids find interest in history. Some kids find interest in fossils. Some kids find interest in different arts and activities. Uh, you know, so what did you just say, Ryan? Somewhere in the back. All right. Yeah. Okay. I was saying I was one of those kids, Thomas. I love history. It is my favorite subject. So anything to do with that as when I was this guy's age, you know, oh my gosh, I, I couldn't get enough of history. Anything to do with history and dinosaurs and fossils and, and what happened in the past and how in correlation to how it relates to the future, I couldn't get enough of that stuff. So that's true, Thomas. Yes. So, but just nourish those children that have that passion for that stuff, for the artwork, for the music, for whatever. If they want to be the scientist, let them be the scientist. If they want to try different chemical mixtures in your kitchen, let them try it. Why? Because they're stimulating their brain. All right. So we're moving right along today. And uh, Brother Ryan, are you ready to go ahead and read out your passage right quick to us? You betcha. Yeah, I was just saying I worked in Drumheller. Jen was asking if anyone's been to Drumheller, Alberta. So yeah, I worked there for a whole summer, uh, probably 10 years ago. So a lot of fun there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this kind of goes along with what JJ was just talking about, uh, again, from the four agreements, and uh, this is what the first agreement is, and it's uh, to be impeccable with your word, so I'll start off here. Now let us see what the word impeccability means. Impeccability means without sin. Impeccable comes from the Latin precactus, I don't know what that word is, <laughs> which means sin. Yeah, I am and impeccable means without. So impeccable means without sin. Religions talk about sin and sinners, but let's understand what it really means to sin. A sin is anything that you do which goes against yourself. Everything you feel or believe or say that goes against yourself is a sin. You go against yourself when you judge or blame yourself for anything. Being without, being without sin is exactly the opposite. Being impeccable is not going against yourself. When you are impeccable, you take responsibility for your action, but you do not judge or blame yourself. From this point of view, the whole concept of sin changes from something moral or religious to something common sense. Sin begins with rejection of yourself. Self-rejection is the biggest sin that you commit. In religious terms, self-rejection is a mortal sin, which leads to death. Impeccability, on the other hand, leads to life. I encourage you all to be very impeccable with your words, like JJ was saying. Like, yeah, you want to blow smoke? Go have a dart. <laughs> say what you mean, mean what you say. So much love, everybody. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ryan, for reading every day to us. Something that he has been grabbing out of some books. Um, guys, we offer books all the time in here. We offer different uh, videos and YouTube channels. And, you know, um, I have my YouTube channel, Thomas Lee Warden, where these morning motivations are put on every day. So once these gets uploaded, I upload them into there when we're done. So we have a bunch of different videos that we've been putting in that, that YouTube channel right there. So y'all can check those out at any time and or share them if you would like. 
um, and because there's different things that is talked throughout here at all different time frames, airplane, all different time frames that uh, you know you never know the the actual nugget until you actually go back and listen to it because there's so many nuggets given by so many people within here to help shift our lives and shift our you know creativity and our what we're going towards whether it's the online business the just ourselves whatever it is. So if you can, go back to that and check it out. Uh, one more time before we pass it off to Shiloh to uh, wrap us up with the affirmation this afternoon, I wanna just uh, offer it one more time. If anybody has they, anything that they wanna bring up one more time uh, within here before we close out today. No hands, everybody's having have, a Oh, <clears throat> Stephanie, go ahead, baby. <laughs> so JJ, I just wanted to maybe for your horse, something around a unicorn or something along those lines, maybe it might help. And I just wanted to say that uh, it's kind of crazy how the universe works because last night I was actually at a, it was a going away party for my sister's boyfriend and she, he is a, he's a doctor and he's a really amazing musician. He's a beautiful singer. And, uh, it was extremely uncomfortable just because literally the whole bar was packed with like all of people that I've never met before. <laughs> so it was pretty intense. And uh, my parents actually came too. So that was super awkward. You have your parents talking to people and like telling them about your life story. It's, it's very awkward. So um, I definitely, it, it was interesting, but I had like, I kind of, didn't involve myself too much. I was on the dance floor a little bit, but then I kind of, you know, sat in the in a booth and we just kind of chilled. But the music was awesome, and uh, yeah, it was interesting as the night went on. How the overall emotions in the in the place kind of changed throughout the night, just with everybody <laughs> really tying one on. So it was a lot of drama, <laughs> but it was good and. Um, the lady who shared her poem, Kim, that was beautiful. And I just wanted to say that I'm very sorry about your husband. Have a good day, everyone. Stephanie, thank you for bringing that out. Yes, the uncomfortableness within a big crowd of area uh, does happen. And then just go ahead and, and interject some alcohol. And yes, it will get fun. Especially if you don't drink, you can sit back and it just, oh my God, it's fun to just watch. I can't, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. <laughs> yeah, you're going to hate that tomorrow. Oh, that's going to leave a bruise. Yeah, those kind people of People watching is always fun, Thomas. People watching is always interesting. I'm a people watcher myself. To sit there and watch people be people, especially under the influence, is a very interesting thing. You know what else is really fun, guys? Like, I don't know if anyone else practices sobriety like me, but also staying sober while everyone else is getting drunk at the challenge. But then, yeah, like you say, you watch everybody else and their stories and they have no idea what happened, but you do. So you actually end up having more fun. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I do. I mean, I sit back and laugh all the time because I, you know, I stopped drinking years ago and, uh, you know, I'm not a major drinker anymore. Will I have one or two here and there? Yes. But, you know, do I do it every day? No. You know, it's uh, only if we go to a restaurant and I didn't bring my water, then I, you know, I'll get something else that uh, killed the bacteria. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but all right. Before we wrap it up, this is right. We're about to rock it out. Miss Shiloh is going to finish us up with her little affirmations. And I want to thank everybody that has joined in with us again today and the smiles on y'all's faces and the happiness that I see on the, the screens and every, the happiness that y'all have brought to me today um, as well. And I want to thank everybody for that. So Miss Shiloh, are you ready, baby? I'm ready. Can you guys hear me okay today? Yes. Okay. Um, I've got a bit of a head cold on the go, so my voice is a bit scratchy, but um, I just want to say welcome to all the new people. It's so nice to see new people and some familiar faces. Um, I missed you guys yesterday, so I'm glad you guys can hear me today. Um, today's affirmations are about choice, because we all have a choice. Today, <clears throat> I choose to let my soul sparkle. I choose to let my smile shine. I choose to be optimistic because it feels good. Today, I have my positive pants on. I choose to love all my quirks and imperfections. Today, I am proud to be me. 
today my heart is kind, my mind is clear, and my spirit is brave. Today I deserve some me time. I choose to speak and think positively. I can and I will. Watch me. Today, I will forgive myself fully when I make a mistake. Today, my glass is neither half empty or half full. It is fulfillable or refillable, sorry. Today and every day, I take at least one action towards my goals. I choose to make the rest of my life the best of my life. I know the best is yet to come. I am guided by my spirit, not my ego. Today, we'll continue moving forward. Today, I'm working on myself, for myself, by myself. Today, I will reach my dreams. Today is a perfect day to be me. And that's it. That's all I got. Love it. Love it. Thank you. Amen to that one. I like that. That's some power right there behind that one, girl. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome energy right there. Thank you, Shiloh, for bringing that to wrap this day up, guys, and the energy that y'all have brought to the table today and all the new people that has come in here. Go out there and just have fun with life and do the things that make you happy today. And then if you start to think that you're unhappy, go back to a mirror right quick and tell yourself, I love that person that I see right there. And this is going to be a happy day. And it's my day because that's the way we have wrapped it up because we're going out there with intention to do the things that we want that makes us happy. I love and appreciate you all for coming out today. We will see you all tomorrow morning and just enjoy the day. I am looking forward to your videos and your posts and everything else that you're going to put out today and just go do it with a smile because I promise you other people will want some of that smile. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. I love and appreciate you all. Thanks, Shiloh. That was awesome. Love you, kids. Have a great day. Thanks, love you guys. Have an awesome day, man. Thanks, Make this day count, baby. <laughs> Great day. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. <laughs> Sorry,